Hey guys, it's Miss Lauren here to share with you this week's lesson, The Cost of Following Jesus. Before we begin, I just want to tell you all how much I enjoyed seeing you on Sunday morning at 10 a.m. for our kids groups. Today, we're going to recap the lesson that we talked about in person on Sunday, and this video will be posted for you to watch or share with your friends at any time. Let's go ahead and get started. I have a few items here to show you. I'm going to show you each item and then tell you how much it costs. I want you on the other side of the screen to give me a thumbs up if you would pay that price or a thumbs down if you think it is not worth the cost. We're going to start here with my fancy microphone. This microphone is 25 cents. So give me a thumbs up if you'd be willing to pay 25 cents or a thumbs down if you think it's not worth it. Next up, whoops, next up we have my inflatable shark, Mr. Jaws. He is worth $50. So again, give me a thumbs up if you'd be willing to pay $50 for Mr. Jaws or a thumbs down if you think he's not worth the cost. Last but not least, we have a phone. Now this phone is worth $1,000. Give me a thumbs up if you would pay $1,000 for this phone or a thumbs down if you think it's not worth the cost. Whenever we go to the store to buy something, we have to consider how much it costs. Are you willing to pay the price? That's the question that Jesus wanted people to consider in today's Bible story, but he wasn't talking about shopping. Jesus was a greater teacher than any other teacher on earth. Do you remember what, what is so important about Jesus' teaching? Let's review our big picture question. What did Jesus teach when he was on earth? Say the answer with me. Jesus taught about God and his kingdom. He taught that all scripture is about him. Everything you learn in school is certainly important, but Jesus taught about things that will matter forever. Keep our big picture question and answer in mind as you hear today's Bible story. Jesus was about 30 years old when he began his ministry on earth. He traveled between the regions of Judea and Galilee, performing miracles and teaching people. Last time we learned about Jesus' Sermon on the Mount. Jesus taught people how to live in God's kingdom. Today's Bible story is called The Cost of Following Jesus. We'll see what Jesus taught about following him. Go ahead and open your Bible to Matthew chapter 8, verse 18. Today's story is from Matthew chapter 8 and 16, as well as Luke chapter 9 and 14. Follow along as we find out what it means to follow Jesus. Large crowds traveled with Jesus. Many people wanted to follow him. One man said, teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus told the man, foxes have dens and birds of the sky have nests, but the son of man has no place to lay his head. Another disciple said, Lord, I will follow you, but first let me go and bury my father. Jesus replied, follow me and let the dead bury their own dead. Jesus told the people that following him wouldn't be easy. It would cost them a lot. Anyone who comes to me must be willing to leave his family. You must love me most of all, more than your own life. Anyone who is unwilling to suffer cannot be my disciple, Jesus said. Jesus urged the people to think about what they were doing. He told them a story. If you wanted to build a tower, you would first sit down and figure out what it would take to complete the tower. Otherwise, you would build the foundation and be unable to finish. People would laugh at you. <laughs> <laughs> then he told them another story. If you were a king, you wouldn't go to war against another king without considering whether your army would be great enough to win the war. If you have too few men to fight, you would send some men to ask for peace before the battle even started. Jesus wanted the people to consider the cost. If you are not willing to give up everything you have, you cannot follow me, Jesus said. Following Jesus means giving him complete control of your life. 
that is not easy, but it is worth it. Jesus said, whoever gives up his life for me will find true life. What good is it to have everything you want in the world if you give up life with God forever? Jesus taught that following him is not easy. It requires commitment and sacrifice. When we trust in Jesus, we give him complete control over our lives. True life is found in Jesus, who gave up his life to rescue us from sin and death. He is worth it. Does following Jesus sound hard? That's because it is. Following Jesus is not easy, but he is worth it. What did Jesus say to the man who wanted to bury his father first? Let's look at Matthew chapter 8, verses 21 and 22. Lord, another of his disciples said, first, let me go bury my father. But Jesus told him, follow me and let the dead bury their own dead. Jesus was saying that following him must be a priority. We shouldn't make excuses and say, let me do this first and then I'll follow you. Or, you know, now's not a really good time. I'll follow Jesus in a few years. Jesus told two stories to tell people that they should count the cost before choosing to follow him. Many people choose to follow Jesus and then turn away from him when they realize that following Jesus is not easy. What did Jesus say will happen if we give him complete control of our, of our lives? Let's look again at Matthew chapter 16, verse 25. For whoever wants to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life because of me will find it. If we cling to our life on earth, which is temporary, we will lose eternal life with God. But giving Jesus complete control over our lives now will mean enjoying eternal life with him forever. Jesus taught that following him is not easy. It requires commitment and sacrifice. When we trust in Jesus, we give him complete control of our lives. True life is found in Jesus, who gave up his life to rescue us from sin and death. He is worth it. As we watch this next video, I want you to think about the difficulty of following Jesus. Hey there, I'm Pastor Brian, and it's time for Questions from Kids. Serenity from Hebron, Kentucky asks, Sometimes being a Christian seems hard. Is it worth it? Yes, yeah, Serenity, let me just affirm your question first of all, the first part. You're right. There are times where being a Christian is difficult. Uh, we all experience this, and the longer that we follow Christ, probably the more we've experienced it. And the reason is this. Jesus told us that would happen. The Bible speaks a lot more about the difficulties that we will experience for following Christ than benefits that we will gain. And so we have to understand when we think about following Christ, we're gonna experience more difficulty, more adversity than we will good positive things. At least that's you know how it feels. And so here's the reason why. We live in a world that is opposed to Christ. The world is against Christ. And if we are for Christ, if we take a stand for him, and we let people know that and we're living for him, we're living in a way that the world does not like and it will oppose us as well. This is what Jesus told us. So there are a lot of times where we experience difficulties for following Christ. So that's the first part of, of your question I just wanted to acknowledge. Now, the second part, the, the real question you had was this, is it worth it? And the answer of course is yes, it is worth it. it, is always, always worth it and here's why. Keep the bigger picture in mind. The adversity that we experience is, is temporary. It may feel like it lasts a long time, but it really doesn't. There will be an end to it. And it will be difficult, but here's the reality. You compare that and contrast that with what awaits us for eternity, being in heaven with Christ forever where it is all just good and all the sin is gone, all this difficulty is gone, and we will have that situation forever, that makes it all worth it. And that's what Paul talked about. He said, man, I might experience momentary affliction, but I gladly experience that because I know what awaits me, eternity in heaven with God. Here's the other thing that helps me as well to remember is that Jesus experienced affliction. 
you read through the Gospels and you see time after time where Jesus is made fun of, he's mocked, uh, people give him a hard time quite a bit, and actually, as we know, he was arrested and crucified. And so it encourages me to know that, yeah, life is difficult for me, but the one I follow, Jesus, life was difficult for him as well. That he was faithful to the Father, I wanna be faithful as well. So is it worth it? It is, by all means. Question back for you then. What might you give up to follow Jesus, and what will you gain because of it? Take a few minutes to talk with your family about what you might give up to follow Jesus and what you will gain because of it. Last week, we met a missionary named Quesavan. Quesavan and his family live on mission in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. They do normal things that other families do, but they try to live in a way that teaches others about Jesus. Quesavan says he prays that each of his children will become faithful followers of Jesus. He hopes that he can baptize them one day and then see them lead other people to Jesus. Quesavan teaches people that no matter how hard life gets, it's best to follow Jesus. Our key passage reminds us that God gives the Holy Spirit to everyone who trusts in Jesus. Let's say these words together. I have spoken these things to you while I remain with you. But the Counselor, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and remind you of everything I have told you. John 14, 25 and 26. Following Jesus is not easy, and sometimes we can forget that he is worth it. The Holy Spirit reminds us what is true and gives us power to press on. One day, Jesus will make all things right. As we close out our time today, I wanna to leave you with one question. Why is it important to understand the cost of following Jesus? Read 1 Peter chapter 4, verses 12 and 13, and then discuss your answer with your family. When we trust in Jesus, we give him complete control of our lives. That's what it means to deny yourself, take up your cross, and follow him. But following Jesus without understanding the cost may make it difficult to persevere in trials. Even though Jesus does not offer us an easy life, he offers us himself. He gave up his life to rescue us from sin and death. He is better than anything the world offers. Let's pray. Dear God, we confess that sometimes we have doubt we wonder if it's really worth the cost of following Jesus, the sufferings that we may come across, the trials that we may have to go through. But Lord, we're so thankful that we have a savior who understands that suffering, who understands that trial. And Lord, I just pray that as we move through this week that you would press upon our hearts that following Jesus truly is worth it. And it's in his name that I pray, amen. We can't wait to see you again this Sunday at 10 a.m. for our kids groups online. Your meeting link and information is included in the parent newsletter sent on Tuesdays. Have a great week and we hope to see you Sunday. Remember parents, we are every Sunday, hold on, I'm gonna have to redo that. I'm starting over.